Oh, this is crooked. <laughs> Who cares? Um, so I'm gonna head back to Mass. What is it? 4:14 in the evening on Saturday because I work Sunday morning. Um, so I basically since I've been here, I of course got to see my mom, Janet, and Jimmy because they live at the house I was staying at for the past like three days, two days, three days. And so I saw them. That was good. Um, I did some laundry. That was nice. And then, oh, when I first got in, I went to Jaden's concert. So I got to see Jaden and Kyla and my sister Mary. Those two are her two daughters. Um, and then the following day, I got to hang out with Bo for a little bit. And I gave him $3 um, because he's a bum, like always. Just like I'm a bum. So there's nothing against him. Um... And then I gave Beth a ride to and from work. The first day I stayed and hung out until like 1-ish in the morning. Um, and then the second time I just picked her up and dropped her off. Um, so I got to see her. And then today I went to my grandmother's house. So I got to see her and my Aunt Maya, her husband Jack, and their two kids. They don't come up here a lot because they live in England, so their travel expense is kind of expensive. Um, and Hana, who lives in LA and just had a baby, was supposed to get here on a Friday, but Maya's youngest child, Evie, Evelyn, um, just got chicken pox, and since Hana has a new baby, she was like, I don't want her to get chicken pox yet. Let's hold off. So she's coming, I think this coming Friday. But I told my family, oh, oh, come on Christmas. So that means that I'm probably gonna come on Monday back here. Um, but then, I don't know, I should do it tomorrow. I should just come on Sunday after work. But that's crazy. Um, and then I would be here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night. Um, the other thing is I'm a little bit concerned about the roads. Like, not really, but it's like freezing. It's 29 degrees out, so it's below freezing. And it's been raining the past two days. So, all over New England, there's like ice alerts. <laughs> um, but since I'm mostly driving on the interstate, it should all be treated. But at the same time, I just have to be careful to not in a car accident I know if I got in a car accident I wouldn't die just because I know that it's not my time to die yet but my father could change his mind anytime he wants maybe I will okay I'm... anyway <laughs> besides that um, I got to visit most of the people but if I come on Sunday or Monday I'll be here Tuesday leave Wednesday night um, and then go to work Thursday and then I would have to come back at some point when Hannah's here so that I could see her and meet my new cousin who I've never met because she just had a baby three months ago and lives on the other side of the country. Ooh. So I have no idea what I'm doing except I'm like rapidly running out of money and I need to like redo my thumbtack and figure something else out as far as coming up on a check real quick um which I know around here I can hustle like I can make ends meet I can collect bottles and cans I can go clean for someone I can give people rides and get gas money that way that way it covers my gas expense plus like a little bit extra so I can do that in Massachusetts I just don't know anyone yet and I have to start like networking or something I gotta figure something out um but it's a city so I could like be an Uber driver or something I could do something I'm just not sure exactly what that something is gonna be um, or it could just be broke as a joke for a minute which I don't have a problem with that either because I'm like used to um, like always having money to meet my basic needs and pay my bills and it would be really good for me to have to go through some struggle man I've always said like I want to be homeless and broke and stuff so it would be almost that without being homeless 
even if I was homeless, I'm not really homeless. I have a camper and a motorhome and a car, which I have two car beds. They're both in Hyde Park, which I'm not going there because I don't have gas and I have to go to Massachusetts. But I'm just saying, I gotta figure something out. And if I don't, that's okay because my father knows all my needs before I even ask him. And he's on it. <laughs> um, so that's nice, obviously. Anyway, I don't know who else I have to see. I should spend a little bit of time with Mary. I should see my uncle. Um, I'm going to see my dad right now, but that's going to be like maybe a half hour at the most. It is like kind of hard and stressful to get a hold of him and like make a time to see him because um, like I don't know when I'm waking up in the morning and he's like, oh, I called him yesterday at four o'clock. He was like, oh, I can't see you. I'm busy doing other stuff. I was like, okay. Um, and then today I told him I would call him between 9 and 10, which I did, and then I called him again and again and again, and there was no answer at any location. And so then the last time I tried to call him, he was like, yeah, come over here. And I was like, all right, sounds good. So, but he's planning on going to a pagan nice dinner at my grandmother's house. Anna is supposed to be there, but she's not because she changed her flight dates uh, because of the chicken pox, so. That's why I would have to make another trip back to Vermont. But it's actually been really boring here. I've been sleeping between like 10 and 12 hours a day. And like nothing has changed. Everything's the same. My mom's always going to work. Beth always wants rides to and from work. Bo always wants money for the pharmacy. My dad is always like busy and weird and stressful. You know, it's the same thing. Like what am I missing when I'm gone? Uh, <laughs> the same exact thing <laughs> everything that I left behind so that's great um but yeah that's pretty much it and I think all of my like three trips to Vermont in a row going back to mass for like six hours of working is absolutely insane and I'm like what am I thinking what am I doing um and I have no idea and I have to text Beth, too, because she wanted me to talk to Kathy about her borrowing money. And, of course, my grandmother said she needs to call me and talk to me about it herself, which I already told Beth was going to be the answer. And, of course, I was right. Um, so that's what she said, because Beth needs to call her. But Beth wants to go see Rizwana, which is her daughter, in the Bronx. And she basically doesn't have money for it. She has a ride there, but she would have to take a bus or a train back, and she's going to be broke, and she can pay back Thursday, but she already borrowed money, blah, blah, blah. And I owe my grandmother, like, $1,200, and I have to start paying her back at some point, but she is more lenient because I have been, like, continuously giving her money during my entire employment, which has been... I've only been unemployed, like, since I've started working when I was 18 for, like, what, a total of seven, eight months? Six, seven, eight? Yeah, like, eight, eight months at the most is the most of my unemployment, and I never thought that I would only be working 12 hours a week at a laundromat. Like, hello. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, and I didn't get hired for that job at the university. They hired someone else. Even though they said something like, oh, despite your fantastic references, they didn't say fantastic. They said something else like great or something. We decided to hire somebody else, but good luck on your job search. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I do have one idea of why I might be working at the laundromat, of what God might be up to. But, I mean, it's a lot of different things. It's not what I think, probably. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, I should end this video because I'm going to be my dad soon and you can tell it's getting to be dusk. Actually, the sun's already set. I think this is past dusk. Um, but yeah, I gotta go. So, subscribe to my channel or subscribe to someone else or get rid of your phone and don't go on the internet anymore because uh, it's not really good for you. Now is it? Um, or do some research about why it's not good for you. Don't take my word for it. I don't know anything I'm talking about. Um. <laughs> okay, I need to end this now. Bye.